For those who started playing Doom with the 2016 reboot, um, you might have come across a few references that don't quite make sense. Specifically Daisy or how Doom's relationship to the Wolfenstein and Commander Keen series runs a little deeper than simply all being games under id software. So I thought I'd try and make uh, this video to help clear things up. To start with, Daisy first appeared at the end of E3 M8 or Episode 3 Map 8. And again at the end of E4 M8. Since then, there have been several Easter eggs and references to Daisy, including an appearance in the 2016 multiplayer Ritual map. The poster reads, if found, please call 121-01993, which references December 10th, 1993, or Doom's original release date. You can also find a rabbit's foot and Quake Champions as an artifact. Daisy has been mentioned on Doom's official Twitter page. And you can also find Daisy hiding in the Doom Eternal cover art. I asked John Romero if he could shed any more light on Daisy, and his response was, Daisy was Doom Guy's pet bunny, and a demon killed Daisy. Time to get even. We told the John Wick story decades ago. The team behind the original Doom consisted of only five people, John Carmack, John Romero, Adrian Carmack, Kevin Cloud, and Tom Hall. But before Doom, Wolfenstein 3D was released in 1992 and Commander Keen in 1990. Easter eggs for Commander Keen can also be found throughout the Doom series, including Secret Map 32 in Doom 2, and in a cave on Mission 6 in Doom 2016. It has been confirmed by both John Romero and Tom Hall that B.J. Blaskowitz from the Wolfenstein series is Commander Keen's grandfather, while Keen is Doomguy's father. This much we know is fact, but the exact lineage gets a little tricky. In the older Wolfenstein games, the protagonist B.J. Blaskowitz, also known as Terror Billy, had a son named Arthur, and Arthur would later father Commander Keen, also known as Billy Blaze. With the series being rebooted, however, I personally believe that Arthur is now out of the picture and Commander Keen is likely the offspring of one of BJ's twin daughters, Jess and Soph from Youngblood. As for Doomguy's name, he wasn't even mentioned in the Doom Bible written by Tom Hall and would go unnamed in the original games. But the Doom 2 RPG mobile game released in 2009 refers to him as Stan Blaskowitz. The Doom novels released between 95 and 96 give him the name Flynn Taggart, and the Doom 3 novels released between 2008 and 2009 call him John Kane. While these characters all share similar artwork or attributes that would suggest they might be Doom Guy, they also appear to stray from the original timeline. Additionally, it could be argued that the character John Reaper Grimm from the 2005 movie is also supposed to be Doom Guy. But since we know Doom Guy is the son of Commander Keen, and it was announced at Bethesda's E3 conference in 2019 that a Commander Keen mobile game is in development, which will star Keen's twin son and daughter, Billy with a Y and Billy with an IE, it's tempting to assume that Doom Guy's official name moving forward is Billy or William III, and that he has a twin sister just like his grandmother. But of course, this is just speculation until Doom Eternal is actually released in November. Uh, once again, I reached out to John Romero, and he says, at least as of now, no, Doom Guy is his name, and no other names are official. And honestly, I think I kind of prefer it that way. As for how Doom Guy ended up with his pet Daisy, or what her significance to him is, I won't try to speculate or read into it any deeper as I, I really don't think the story was ever meant to be taken too seriously. The game did get its name from a scene in a Tom Cruise movie after all. What you got in there? In here? Doom. 
Hopefully that all made sense and you found this um, somewhat helpful. If you like this type of information, I highly recommend checking out Midnight. Um, he dives a lot deeper into Doom lore, and I mean really deep, in addition to presenting some of his own theories. I had a chance to briefly meet him at QuakeCon, and he's a super nice guy. I'll provide a link to his channel in the description, and that's all I got for today, so thanks for watching.